Hey, Telvorce here. In this series of tutorials, I will be teaching players how to make a functional mech, similar to the Advanced Starter Mech and my Gundam Mithras Jew. If you have ever used the Advanced Starter Mech template before, you'll probably notice two things. It uses a vehicle seat instead of a mech seat, and that you can make it turn using your mouse cursor. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make your mech turn by using your mouse and the vehicle seat. To get started, you'll need a few parts. The servo block, the global to relative position block, the turret handler, the mouse 3D position sensor, and the aim part. Now before we do anything, make sure your servos and aim parts are 10 density. This makes it so that it's easier to turn heavier things. What players mistakenly do to make their mech turn is by using the aim part by itself to turn. But as you can see, the mech is too heavy to turn and it's very slow. Now, to bypass this, we're gonna cheat a little by using the servo to turn our mech instead of the aim part. To do this, we attach the aim part to the bomb servo. Quick note, the bomb servo is a 1 with all the green inputs. Be mindful of the orientation of the aim part. Light blue faces upwards, the dark blue faces forward. What this does is that the aim part acts as a stabilizer while locking the rotation of the bomb servo. This makes it so that the top servo does all the work in rotating your mech. After we attach the aim part, put the global to relative position part somewhere in the middle of the bomb servo. Connect your mouse 3D position sensor to the global to relative position part, and connect the output of the global to relative position into the turret handler. After, connect the output yaw of the turret handler into the angle input of the servo. Congratulations, you made a turret that can be controlled using a mouse, but instead you're actually using it to turn your mech. Before we activate our build, there's a few things that we need to do first. Make sure the servo kit that you've just built is fully non-collidable and we need to make sure that the torque of the servo is also ungodly high. You can do this by powering a constant large integer with itself. Afterwards, you put the output into the torque of the servo. Now you're probably wondering how do we put this in. All you have to do is just get the top servo and just put it inside your mech and then it should work. Okay, now try it out. A few problems could pop up when you first activate your build. If your mech faces the opposite direction of where your mouse is at, add a negative input after the turret handler and connect it to the angle input of your build. If your mech is too fast at turning and is unstable, make the speed and acceleration of your servo to 20. If you flop down easily, compress and add more aim parts but not too much or else you would get a warning from the game. For the next part, we'll be making our own inverse kinematics template. If you have any questions, please comment down in the comment section below.